Is keeping your closet clean such a chore? Have you looked through so many boxes you forgot what you were looking for? Well, I got a treat for you. A better way to find those damn pink shoes. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Practical Batty. I am Janae, and today I will be building a shoe closet DIY style. It's a little messed up. I'm a little messy. I am, but you know what I mean? That's just the way how us females roll. So, well not all of us. Let me let me not speak for all. I speak for me. So as you can see, I have shoes and boxes and more boxes all over the place. It is time to clean her up. I just love a good pair of shoes. And now I'll just paint the closet. And if you see any imperfections, I'm no goddamn painter. Finally finished the closet. If my hair look a little rearranged, excuse me. I had to take this wig off. It was like super hot in there. And I have this my good wig. And I didn't want to get it all messed up. The last step to do is just to start painting the borders and I'll be painting the borders black and after I'm done painting I'll just let it dry and head on over to Home Depot. Now I just needed just a few supplies like for Lauren. Okay and the prices are just perfect for me. 89 cents. I love it. Fill up the cart with all your goodies and you're walking right back out. Laying down peel and stick tiles are just as easy as it seems here. To lay the tile in the corner, you will need a tape measurer as well as a razor blade. So you will measure the floor and then you will measure the tile. And you just mark it with a razor or a pencil, whichever one you prefer, and then you're just gonna cut straight down that tile and they snap pretty easy. Snap. And then you just lay it down. And I am all done laying the towel down. And I can do my happy dance. I love these slippers. They are super comfortable. My closet was a little too dark for my liking, so I will be hanging a light. And it's just a tube light that I had got from another light. And these are the clips that I'll be using along with the screws. Once I hang up the light, I will be using a staple gun just to secure the cords. And then there was light. Hanging shelves by yourself could get a little tricky, but always remember patience. So you're gonna need a pencil to mark the spots, you'll need a drill, and you'll also need a tape measurer. To put these shelves up, I actually walk by faith and not necessarily by sight, but I wouldn't recommend that to anyone. You should always use a balancer to level out all of your shelves and the brackets. And now I'll 
just be putting up the brackets and then laying the shelves on top. For me, putting these shelves up were trial and error because I had so many different shelves of different sizes. Be sure to secure your shelf at the bottom. And then you're all finished. Thank you guys for watching my channel, Practical Baddie. I will be bringing you a lot more DIYs and other videos. So definitely just subscribe or follow me on Instagram for more video updates.